Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create section dividers in Divi. Let me show you pretty much what we're going to be designing. So here we have our first example. So I show you how to add this divider right here. And then in the next example, I show you how to add a basic line. And then finally on the bottom here, I show you how to add this divider. Now we're not just adding these dividers at random. We are designing, we are adding these dividers because of this type of image or the style of the image that we have. So that's what we're going to be covering in today's video. Now, before we get started, if you'd like to design professional looking websites with Divi, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. And before we get started, I'd also like to mention that I create a lot of website tutorials here. So by subscribing and hitting the bell notification, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. All right, let's not waste a lot of time. Let's dive in and let me show you how to create this. All right, so let's start by creating a brand new page. So I am going to come over here and click on pages. So the page I'm going to create is just going to have pretty much any name. It doesn't really matter here. So I'm going to click on add new and I'm just going to name my page new dividers. And then I'm going to click on use Divi Builder. So this now is going to take us to our builder. All right. So I'm going to build everything from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and click on start building. Next, I'm going to add a single column here and then I'm just going to close out of this. And then I need to add a background image that we're going to use for the design um, that we're going to have now. So I'm going to click here on section settings, click on background, and then I'm going to click on the third tab and add our image. Now I already have an image here that I downloaded from uh, pexels.com. This is a royalty free uh, site. So I'm going to click here and add my image. Next, I'm just going to save this and then I'm going to come over here and let's just add a divider for now. And, um, in this divider here, we're just going to create a height. So I'm going to come over here to show divider and say no to that. And then over here, I'm just going to go and click on sizing and let's set a height. So our height here is going to be, let's say 12 VW. Uh, the reason why I'm adding the height here is because I want to reveal more of this image. I mean, there's several ways we could do that. We can also go in here and add some modules, but this video is all about the uh, section dividers. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna increase this as well so we can see more of our image. And let's go up to about say 200. Okay, so now that we have 200, next I'm gonna come over here now into my section settings, design, and then click on dividers. So our divider needs to come on the bottom here. So we need to make sure that we click on the bottom tab. And here's the thing. When you use dividers, you need to use dividers depending on the style of the image that you have. So right now we have a lot of water. So something wavy is going to work really well for our example here. So let's go ahead and look for that. So we can either go with this one here or we can use the other one, which has a bit of a transparency, that one right there. So you can choose which one, but uh, the idea here is they both have waves, so that's good. I, uh, that's a good thing. All right, so I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with this one here. Now, before I make any tweaks to this, what I want to do is to add another section. So, let me just click here on this plus button, add a regular section and uh, two columns. So in here we can add a text module. So let's go ahead and do that, and uh, let's save that. So maybe over here we want to add an image. So let's go ahead and add our image. So we're going to pretend here that this is um, a proper site. So let me look for an image <clears throat> that works with this. So let's have a look. Right, looks like, okay, you know what? Let's go with this one here. Upload an image. And then I am going to go in and save this and add a bit of space here. In fact, you know what? We don't need to add a lot of um, padding. So I'm going to go with 122. All right. So now that we have this, you can see that our design here pretty works because of the water that we have here and it's a bit wavy. So this is the style that you want to use, but don't go crazy with these uh, section dividers as well. It makes your website look unprofessional. All right. So the next thing we can do here as well is if we go in here and click on background and let's say we need to add a background color. Now, of course, we want to add 
a color that works with what we have up here. So we need some blues. So let's just drag this all the way up and let's choose our color. So you can go with uh, pretty much any color you want here. So you can go slightly darker if you want. But as you can see, I mean, this pretty much, you know, works and it is good for our section. Okay, so let's try this. Or perhaps you can even make it darker. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go with that. And uh, over here now, all we need to do is to change the text. So I'm going to come over here and um, change the color. So now, as you can see, this section looks much, much better. Now let's try the other style. So let's go back in here and let's go and click on dividers. And this time we want to go for the basic one, the basic wavy one. There we go. So again, in fact, you know what? I actually prefer this one. So I'm going to go with this one here. Now there's also a few things you can do. You can adjust the height here. And again, this is working with the wave that we have, but of course you don't want to have it too low. So have your wave there and you can also increase the repeat. Now, of course, when you take a look at this, this looks ridiculous. So ideally, you just want to keep it simple. And you can also uh, flip this around if you want to. But right now, I think it looks okay. Okay, so as you can see here, this is our wavy uh, divider. And this really works well with the image that we have here. You might as well want to add a bit of height there. But as you can see, this looks really nice. Now, let's go in and try another example. So I'm going to go back in and enable the visual builder, right? So you know what? I'm just going to go in here and add more height to our divider here. So I'm going to go to sizing and I'm going to increase this a bit more so we can see more of this image. All right. So I'm going to save this and there we go. So that's our section. Now let's try another example. So in this example, what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate what we have here and then uh, change the design. So I'm going to duplicate this one here. And then I'm also going to come over here to the second section and uh, duplicate this as well. So all I have to do now is to drag this one here between is to be in between here. All right. So there we go. So in our second example here, we're going to change our image. So I'm going to go back in here, click on background. And uh, let's use a totally different image. So I'm going to go with this architecture one here. Click upload an image. Now, as you can see here, the architecture image doesn't really work well with these wavy lines because we have straight lines here. And definitely, I'm sure you can agree with me that this doesn't work here. So what you want to do is to go over here to design dividers. So you want to choose dividers that work with the style of image that you have. So let's go ahead and add our bottom divider here. And this time we need straight lines. So this could work really well. You can see as soon as I've added it there, it looks really nice. We can reduce the height a little bit if we need to. But that in itself could be our divider that we can go with. What we could do as well is uh, choose a different style. So what we're looking for here is things with lines. I mean, that could work as well. But to be honest, I'm not really a fan of this one here. Uh, let's find another one. This one works really well as well. So you can play around with the height too. But the fact that it's got these sharp edges, it really works with this architecture image or the image of the buildings. Okay, there's one more style that we could use here. And that is this one right here. Again, that one works okay. Although it has a bit of a curve here. That's why I probably wouldn't use that one. Okay, so uh, let's see. So for this design, I'm going to go with uh, either this one here or the basic one, just the, uh, the slopey line. And then I'm going to save. And let's say you want to change the color of this section behind here. We can go in, go to background, and then we can just reset this to white. Save that. And you can see now it's really nice. It's clean and it looks really, really cool. So I'm going to go in here now and just change the color of my text. So we're going to change this and that's our color for our text. Let's save that. Right. So let's do another style. So this time again, we're going to duplicate this once and uh, we're also going to duplicate this like that. Okay. Now let's drag this to the bottom.
And then this one here needs to go between the two. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna do what we did before. We're gonna go in and change the image. So I'm gonna click here on my section settings, click on background, and uh, let's choose a different image here. So I'm gonna go with this one here. Click upload an image. Now again, if we take a look here at this image, it doesn't really look nice with the, um, with the slope. So what we could do is we could um, come over here to design, dividers, and let's choose a different style here. Now the style that could work here is, we could go with this one here. And this could work really well. And we can also play around with the repeat. But this is just showing that this is a bit fun. But you know what, I'll just um, choose another one. Now this repeat, I'm not sure if, uh, oh, there we go. I really like that. So this is the design that I'll probably go with for this image here. So let's go down and see, there we go. So this divider here could work well. And let's change this image because it doesn't match. Now, if we also wanna add, let's say a background for this, since this is um, a really playful uh, design, we can come over here and change the background color completely of that section. So as you can see now, this looks much, be much, much better. Now let's change the, um, the text. So I'm gonna come over here, click on design text, and then I'm just gonna make this white so that it's easier to read on that background. Save that, and then over here, we just need to change this image. Let's see if we can find an image that works better. So uh, I think, right, so let's go with this one here. Upload an image, and there is our image. Of course, uh, over here on the left, you want to add your titles. So let's go ahead and do that quickly. So I'm just gonna duplicate this, and then I'm just gonna add my title over here. Okay, let's call this main title and set this to heading one. And let's go ahead and stylize heading one by changing the color first. Then just making this slightly bigger. There we go. So I'm gonna save that. So now our section is complete. I mean, of course we can center this if we need to, but I'm just gonna keep this um, as it is. So I'm gonna, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the module here and paste it. So I'm gonna come over here, click on copy. Then I'm gonna also going to right click and paste module. And here it is. Now, of course we can't see it because it's white. So we need to go in and change the color. So I'm gonna go in here and click on design, heading text, and let's change the color. There we go. So now we have our title there, let's save that. And we also need to add our heading one more time here. So I'm gonna paste and drag it into position. There we go. So now let's save our page and exit the Visual Builder, and then we can see the final design. All right, so just to recap, as you can see here, our section dividers are pretty much working with the style of the image. So as you're designing your pages and your sections, you need to bear this in mind. This is how you get a really nice consistent design. But as I mentioned earlier on, you don't wanna use a lot of these section dividers. It makes your website really look unprofessional. So you wanna use this in a very, very subtle way. So here it works. I mean, it could be also maybe a website to do with swimming or anything to do with uh, water sport. It'll work really well for that. And then over here, with the architecture, because of the lines that we have here, this basic slant here works really, really well. And uh, finally, over here, this again works really cool. And this now has really worked because of the color that I added here, because we have nice uh, bright colors here. So I've decided to add a color here on the bottom. But the most important thing here is when you add your your section dividers, it takes on the color of the section that's below it. And we can also use dividers above, but uh, in this example, I decided to show you how to use these dividers 
pretty much on the bottom. Right, so uh, go ahead, try it out and see what sort of designs you come up with. Don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.